friends, welcome to e-learning platform and initiative by Science Park, Savitribai Phule, Pune University. Today, we'll cover chapter Physical and Chemical Changes of Standard 7, where I'm covering chapter 13 from SSE board and chapter 6 from CBSE board. Now, in this video, we'll cover following key points. We'll see changes around us in which we will see what are physical changes and chemical changes. We'll see and I'll explain you few examples of physical changes. We'll study some important characteristics of physical changes. Then I'll give you uh, some activities for doing it yourself. Then we'll see some more examples and then finally at the end of the video, we'll see reversible and irreversible changes. Now let's see changes around us. Changes can be classified in as a slow change and fast change or desirable change and undesirable change or can be classified as reversible change and irreversible change. If we light a candle, the wax melts, but there is no difference in the mass due to melting of wax. You can weigh the wax before it melts and after it melts. This is because no new substance is formed in this change. So wax only changes its physical state from solid to liquid. On the other hand, if you burn the wax, suit forms which will go in air and hence there is a decrease in mass. We notice different changes around us and scientifically we classify them into physical changes and chemical changes. Let's see definition of physical change and chemical change. Physical changes occur when the appearance of substance changes but chemically the substance is the same. So, no new substance is produced in physical changes. While in chemical changes, they occur when chemical reactions occur and new substances are produced. Let's see uh, some examples of physical changes. Here, in test tube A, I have taken ice. When I give heat to ice, it changes its physical state and goes into a liquid state. We can see water in the test tube. If I even heat the water in the test tube, what will happen? We can see steam coming out of the water. Water will start boiling. Now when water changes to steam on heating or to ice upon cooling, no new substance is formed. Ice, water and steam are different only in their physical properties. Ice is solid, water is liquid, steam is gaseous. Hence, changing of water to ice, ice to water, etc. All these are physical changes. Now, can you write similar explanation about breaking of glass? Give it a try. Let's see some characteristics of physical changes. Properties such as shape, size, color and state of a substance are called as physical properties. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical properties is called as a physical change. The physical change can be reversible or irreversible. A physical change is generally reversible. In such a change, no new substance is produced. The substance after the change is identical in nature to the substance before the change. And we can use our senses to see physical changes. Okay, so you can do this activity and enjoy yourself. If you take uh, one large sheet of paper and if you cut the sheet of paper in square pieces, or if you cut the paper in triangular pieces, what is this? Is this a physical change or chemical change? Do it yourself and tell me the answer in the discussion period. Okay. Now when you cut the paper and when you join them, 
can you make them as original piece of paper is there any change in the property of the paper i have given you some clues to write down your answer so go ahead and write your explanation and answer and let's discuss this in the other time of our discussion meeting okay now you can also do this uh, thing you can crush small piece of chalk dust you might have chalks at home now add little water to the dust and make a paste out of it roll it into the shape of a piece of a chalk and let it dry did you get back your chalk from the dust do it yourself if you are really interested in doing this watch this video uh now you can also uh, observe this kind of uh, physical changes in your daily chores when you are heating or boiling water in a kettle or something the steam comes out with a pressure if you keep a cooled surface like here they have shown a pan on top of it they have kept some ice so the surface of this pan or tawa is really very cold so the steam goes up high struck the pan where the temperature is really really low condenses into water droplets which you can really collect so is this a physical change or chemical change think about it a change of state we know there are three states solid liquid and gas particles in solids are very close together and they vibrate very slowly particles in liquid are further apart and slide over each other they have little more space to vibrate particles in a gas are far apart and bump into each other as they move quickly but the nature of the particle remains same physical changes are reversible changes so solid can get converted into liquid liquid get converted into gas again the gas can be converted into liquid and the same solid so you can even do some more experiments at home and uh, tell me about it in the discussion period i am giving you some examples some food for thought how do you use these materials to show or explain physical changes i have given you eight different materials substances objects think about it and tell me can you explain some physical changes of these objects okay now let's see what are reversible changes and irreversible changes melting butter is obviously a reversible change but burning a wood can you get the wood back after burning it into ash no you cannot get it back so reversible change which can be reversed and irreversible change is a change which cannot be reversed thank you bye